Hey babes, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today's video we're talking skincare. We're gonna be unboxing and trying out some skincare from my first PR box from Bliss. So if you guys are interested in seeing what products I got and how I'm gonna be using them, then just make sure you keep on watching. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Show your support, share it with friends, and let me know in the comments if you have any Bliss products or have tried any. Come join my big beauty YouTube family. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. Don't give us that paparazzi, baby. You know they're always trying to get me. A million dollars at the night scene. Disclaimers. This video is sponsored by Bliss themselves. They sent over this lovely PR package to unbox and try some products and review them with you guys. I want to thank Bliss so much for accepting me into the Happy Skin Crew. We are on their PR list, so I will have more of these boxes to share throughout the year with you guys. Bliss is an amazing skincare brand. I've used their products before and they're absolutely wonderful. Every single one I've tried, I've loved. And as always, opinions and reviews are always 100% honest and authentically me because I am me and you are you and we don't have the same skin or hair type. And even if we do, what may work for me may not work for you. For reference, I have acne prone, blemish prone skin combo to oily skin as well as hyperpigmentation dark spots from acne scarring i also have a bit of congested skin and occasionally i do deal with hormonal acne so i get a lot of cysts and cystic acne this video is not being paid in any way they just sent over some products to review and to share with you guys now let's get into this box i am going to be removing my makeup but i'm going to open this box and show you guys what we got first and then we'll do our little skin routine so this is our lovely box and of course this is bliss and the happy skin crew tissue paper you know we gotta love that and if y'all don't know blue is my favorite color so i'm like i'm just really excited for this guys so we got three products in our box and we actually got some really fun and cute little stickers that you guys know i'm gonna stick to my laptop so this is the first sticker I got, of course, the Bliss logo. Then we also got this kind of holographic one, which says Happy Skin. The three products they sent me were the Bliss Pro 11.8% AHA, BHA, and PHA liquid exfoliant. It contains glycolic, lactic, and salicylic acids, and it's a daily solution. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about it as we do our little skincare routine. This is what it looks like on the actual packaging. And it's a glass bottle, it feels like, very durable. Next product we have is the Bliss Block Star Invisible Daily Sunscreen. It's SPF 30 and it's a 100% mineral broad spectrum uh, sunscreen. It's also non-comedonic... Comed I can never say this right, guys. I always get tongue-tied. Non-comedogenic. Non-comedogenic. Work with me, guys. But, yes, so basically what that means is this won't clog your pores. As someone who has congested skin, I'm really excited for this. Also, I am not a huge lover of sunscreens. Not every sunscreen works for me. I hate to keep buying sunscreens, especially if I'm not going to use them. So I'm hoping this is going to be good. We're going to test this out. This is what the packaging looks like up close. I love Bliss because they're so colorful and fun and like, it just always reminds me of summer. I'm a winter baby and I can't stand the winter. Summer is me all day. I love tanning. I'm half Puerto Rican and half Guyanese, if you guys don't know. So the sun is my everything. Next up for the last product, we have the Bliss Fabulips Vegan Balm. So this is a vegan moisture lip balm, and I believe this is, yes, tinted. It's in sheer pink. This is what the packaging looks like. This is also 100% lanolin-free and petroleum-free. And here's the packaging up close. Another reason why I love Bliss is because they are cruelty-free, 
for all my bunny lovers out there. So now that I showed you guys a little bit about these products, we're going to go ahead and try them on. I think the only product that I'm not going to be using right now is the Bliss Invisible Daily Sunscreen, only because you should always wear your sunscreen, but I currently have SPF on right now. I'm going to be washing my face for my night routine. So for me, I don't want to put SPF on and then have to wash it off and wash my face again. Um, washing your face too much can be damaging to your skin, so just keep that in mind. So I am going to test this out, most likely starting tomorrow. I am going to have updates for you guys every month on how the products are doing for me. So definitely stay tuned on my Instagram at Midnight Moon Makeup. I will still test this out on my handle just to see if this baby has a little bit of white cast or anything like that. So let's get into it. I'm going to go wash my face and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So freshly washed face. I'm feeling clean. And we did a double cleanse because I did have makeup on. The first product that we're going to get into and talk about is the Bliss Pro Liquid Exfoliant. Now, this is a really cool exfoliant because I've used AHAs, BHAs, and PHAs. Uh, PHAs are a lot gentler on the skin, which is more suitable to sensitive skin. But because this does contain AHAs and BHAs as well, this product specifically is not good for sensitive skin, but any other skin type can use it. The box does have a lot a lot of info as much as they could pack on there without it looking crazy. So I really do like that they're really educational on their boxes because a lot of people, when they're looking for new skincare, or especially when you're a beginner and starting skincare, there's a lot to know about it. It doesn't seem like it, but there is definitely a lot to know about skincare. There's a lot of ingredients. There's ingredients you shouldn't mix. There's ingredients that are perfect together. There's ingredients that don't work for certain skin types. So. I do love that it tells you a little bit of that info on the box itself. Also, I do want to mention, I did get to try out Bliss's Glycolic Peel Pads, the 10% ones, and they were absolutely amazing. So I really can't wait to see how this goes because, again, this does contain the glycolic acid. And those peel pads really improved my texture, my hyperpigmentation, and it was just everything and more. So the claims on this baby right here, it's clinically proven to visibly improve dullness, pores, tone and texture, and lines and wrinkles. Um, not only does it contain the three acids, a Pro 3 soothing antioxidant complex, which contains resveratrol, chamomile, and ceramide NG. This is clean, cruelty-free, planet-friendly, fragrance-free, and vegan. On the box, it does say for the Bliss Pro line, it's professionally inspired by our 20 plus years of spa expertise. In just two minutes a day, this rinse off liquid exfoliant resurfaces and stimulates surface cell renewal to deliver dramatically brighter and smoother skin with tighter looking pores in just one week. It brightens, clarifies, tightens pores, and it smooths the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Most exfoliants, at least chemical ones like salicylic acid, the glycolic acid, you want to always make sure you wear SPF. So I'm glad they sent an SPF with it to try. Now it does also say you want to shake it well, use AM or PM, apply to clean dry skin, wait two minutes and rinse thoroughly with water, follow with a moisturizer. And it also says begin by using every two to three days and work your way up to daily use. First time users may experience mild tingling. Now, I can honestly say that that tingling part is going to be because of the glycolic acid. I did try the other glycolic acid peels, like I said earlier, and those definitely did give a very mild tingling sensation. It didn't hurt. It just felt kind of itchy, but it didn't irritate my skin. It didn't cause further breakouts, and it was absolutely amazing. It worked perfect. Now, on the back... To tell you a little bit about the ingredients in here, this Bliss Pro Comprehensive Skin Renewing Treatment is expertly curated with the perfect balance of hydroxy acids, chemical exfoliators that help increase skin's natural surface cell turnover, AHA, glycolic and lactic acids, water soluble, works on skin's surface to remove dead skin cells and visibly brightens and improve texture and tone. BHA, salicylic acid, Oil soluble, exfoliates pores for smoother, clarified skin and visibly tighter pores. P 
PHA gluconolactone, sorry if I'm butchering that, larger molecule size than AHAs allows for gentle exfoliation while attracting moisture. And the Pro 3 Soothing Antioxidant Complex helps boost formula for visible results and free radical protection. There's the Resveratrol, which is an antioxidant, chamomile, which is known to soothe, and ceramide NG, which is a skin conditioner. This little peel right here is $20. And it also does contain some really good ingredients from what I'm seeing in the ingredient list. We have plankton extract, sunflower seed oil, peptides, as well as panthenol, which is known to moisturize. It does smell like something, but I can't tell out of the bottle, so I'm going to put it on the cotton ball, and we're going to start applying. So I've grabbed my a couple of cotton balls. I'm putting the solution on. Um, from what I first noticed is this solution is kind of on the gel side. Like, it's not completely watery, but it's not really thick like a serum. And we're just going to go ahead and apply this on. We're going to go ahead and let this sit for the two minutes and then I'm going to wash it off off camera and we will be right back. I'll show you guys how my skin looks after the two minutes if there was any difference. There might not be on the first round because I already exfoliate, but we will see. This is how my skin is looking. I feel like I did notice a slight glow. So we're definitely going to continue on using this and see how it goes. But my skin feels so nice. My skin looks very fresh and kind of like revitalized. I'm liking it. I'm going to continue using it and we're going to see how it goes. Again, I'll update you guys more on Instagram in another month or so. I also do want to mention with this product, I did feel that slight tingling sensation. But it wasn't as mild as I thought it was going to be. You can get it at Target or on Bliss's official website. All product mentions will be listed down below if you guys wanna purchase them. So let's get into the next product. Next up is the Blockstar, baby. Blockstar. So let's get into this. This sunscreen is cruelty-free, planet-friendly, eco-friendly, clean, and vegan, and it contains no chemical sunscreens. Uh, there's no irritation, no clogged pores, no white cast, chalkiness, or greasy sheen. That all sounds amazing. Now, for ingredients, I do see titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which of course are sunscreen. Um, they are sun protectants. But a little bit more about it here, titanium dioxide is a naturally occurring mineral that provides broad spectrum protection protecting skin against both UVA and UVB rays. Zinc oxide is a broad spectrum blocking agent that forms a physical barrier on skin reflecting sun's rays rather than absorbing them to protect skin cells from the harmful damage of the UVA and UVB rays. There's also a antioxidant blend, which I did see in the ingredients. There's blueberry, acai, and green tea extracts, which help promote from free radicals. Green tea is also soothing, if you guys didn't know. Then there's also Rosa Canina fruit oil, which is known to help control excess oil while minimizing the appearance of pores. We also have a few other ingredients like evening primrose. We have a lot of different fruit extracts, some that I cannot pronounce. Um, I'm seeing hibiscus, the camilla, which is the green tea. We have Laboda root extract. We have lavender oil. Um, chlorantha bark extract and that looks like it's pretty much it I'm loving how it sounds uh, let's go ahead and try this out on our hand and see if there is a cast or not this is the applicator this is what it looks like um, very easy to use I like that the packaging is like a upside down tube so there's no waste all your product is coming to the bottom and coming straight out so this is actually not a clear or white colored sunscreen it kind of has this like beige color to it so let's see if this is going to leave a white cast or a tint or anything like that it does look a bit red let's see as we rub it in if it's going to change and then i'll show you guys my hands side by side 
This does have a slight scent to it that is because of the extracts and the zinc, I believe, because I do have like a pimple spot treatment and it smells just like this and it contains loads of extracts and zinc oxide as well. It smells really good though, really natural, kind of floral. There is no greasy or slippery feel so i'm liking that i also tend to notice that with sunscreens you might feel like the graininess of it i don't feel any graininess everything feels really smooth so i'm impressed so far i feel like it did make my skin a little bit darker but not dark in a bad way if you guys can see that this is the hand that i applied the sunscreen on this is the bare hand i feel like it did give just a tiny bit kind of like a tan tint so i like that very natural and you don't see any shininess or greasiness overall definitely exceeding my expectations bliss keep it up with these products spf 30 is actually the recommended smallest dose of sunscreen you can wear going outside so spf 30 or higher is always good um this one contains 30 so it's perfect for every day this sunscreen, I believe, is the larger version. It's the 40 milliliter, so it retails for $22 on their site. I believe you can also get it at Ulta Beauty, Target, CVS, Amazon, um, very wide range of places you can get it at. I even see Walmart here. Now knowing that this really does not leave any type of white cast or even any type of harsh tint or greasiness, this might be my new best friend, my new next best sunscreen, man. So let's get into this last product. This product up is the Bliss Fabulous Vegan Balm, Vegan Moisture Balm. This is actually a new addition to the Bliss family, baby. So they have a few shades available. Again, I got the sheer pink. And like I said earlier, very cute, simple, compact packaging. I love that the top is pink and then it has the blue cap. As I said earlier, this balm is 100% lanolin free and petroleum free. And it says glow vegan, packed with hyaluronic acid and peptides. This vegan lip balm in sheer pink serves up long lasting moisture and protects lips natural elasticity. Enjoy buttery soft, healthy looking lips without the stickiness in just one swipe. Apply as needed. So you can literally put this on all day if you wanted to. And under ingredients, a lot, a lot of amazing ingredients, um, tons of ones that I actually use now for both my lips and my skin. We have castor seed oil as the first ingredient. Castor seed oil is good for everything, if you guys don't know. Hair, skin, nails, everything. Then we also have vegetable oil, um, some hydrogenated castor oil, shea butter, we have jojoba esters, aloe, sunflower seed wax, soybean oil, sunflower seed oil, lactic acid. Ooh, lactic acid. Uh, we also have flower wax. And that's pretty much looking like that's it. Everything else is colors, preservatives, um, some moisturizers, and all that good stuff. So let's try this on. Applicator is very small. And the color is actually really, really pink. Compared to most tinted lip products I've tried, they're usually not this pigmented, like how it's coming out. But I actually like that. Because, I mean, what's the point of wearing a tint if you can't really see it? You know what I'm saying? I'm one of those girls who like pigment. And, oh my gosh, guys, that looks like a lipstick. It doesn't look like too much and honestly it's like buildable so you didn't have to put as much as I did it would probably come out a lot more sheer if you guys did it with less product but wow I'm loving this color it feels so nourishing on my lips very hydrating. There's no sticky feel or formula. It doesn't feel greasy or oily, just like a regular lip oil would or a lip gloss or anything like that. And it has a very nice color payoff. I'm really liking it. 
It's looking fabulous. It's looking cute. We getting all blessed up, baby. Happy skin crew over here. So I probably am going to take this off because I didn't know it was going to be this tinted. And as my night routine, I'm not trying to get this tint on any of my pillows or anything like that. Again, this balm is a new product for Bliss. It is $10. It looks like they only sell this at Bliss. Um, I don't see it anywhere on Target or anywhere like that. So I guess because it's a new product, they probably won't be sold there until a little later on down the line. But you guys can pick this up at Bliss for 10 bucks. A little goes a long way. So that is pretty much it, guys. We have talked a little bit about our PR box, and I'm so excited to have gotten these products. Thank you so much, Bliss. I'm so excited to be part of the Happy Skin Crew. Again, follow me on Instagram for updates on these products. I hope to see all my lovely babies here next week. And as always, y'all stay beautifully awesome. Later, guys.